Hi there, my name is Cliff Rosa with Rosa Media Productions and I have my own business where I do video services and one of the things I do is I set up uh, live video broadcasting studios for schools. I've set up uh, a couple dozen in this past year for uh, elementary and middle schools and most of those have been black, uh, <clears throat> built around the Blackmagic Design ATEM television studio uh, it's a, it's a switcher. It's got a virtual interface. Um, nice setups. You can uh, see a, a number of those videos, test videos, and uh, tour videos of those systems on my YouTube channel, rosamediaproductions.com, or anyway. But uh, folks have asked me, okay, is there a cheaper way? Is there something that doesn't require you know a media computer and a streaming computer and a switcher? And so I started looking into how to do this with uh, OBS, which I've been using as an encoder. It's a great encoder, a free uh, product. And uh, OBS has built quite a bit of switching capabilities into their software. So, okay, well, how, to, how robust can it be? So I'm actually using that right now to record this uh, little program, and I'm going to give a little tour of of uh, the tools I've plugged together to make this work uh, and that's what this diagram is over here on the on the uh, <clears throat> screen behind me uh, I'm going to just show that I've got this uh, little uh, life cam uh, Microsoft life cam studio is my camera too okay and I've actually uh, put together w studios around uh, using these as well um, but um, yeah, anyway, I think as, as the main main thing, there's better options. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the tour. All right, so it starts up here with, as I said, OBS running on iMac, okay? OBS has a place for uh, plugging in images and videos, which is a real key for what I uh, like to do. I, I, I want my live programs I want the live video uh, studios to have the capability of mixing together pre-recorded content with the live and uh, camera feed and then of course to be able to broadcast that out streaming on the internet is typically the way that's done these days used to do I had a couple of different studios where I'd done all cable based uh, terrestrial stuff but um, moving away from that because of um, cost reasons basically let's go back to the tour so OBS iMac uh, the audio is coming in via the uh, this ATR 2100 USB mic that's the mic you saw me using in the live feed the camera one I should say uh, I'm using the USB connector that actually does have an XLR connection as well uh, I already talked about the MS Life Cam, and then camera one on me is a, in this case, it's a Panasonic GH4. Uh, it's a DSLR. It's being adjusted via Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder and FireWire into the iMac. Let me give you an ISO on that real quick. That is right here on the desk. Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, Blackmagic Design. I like their products, um, so I, I've got a number of their pieces. Let's switch over now to the desktop, just to let you see what it, what OBS looks like if you're unfamiliar with it. I will say this, um, that OBS has been around a lot longer than I've been using it. Uh, it's been super popular in the gaming community for uh, streaming games and uh anyway that type of content but uh, it's been developed to have a lot of functionality I'm very pleased with it over here basically okay first of all it's running in studio mode uh, this is this is what they call uh, well just regular mode studio mode gives you your output or program and then your input so you can see I'm sorry your preview which is what's you're queuing up to be putting on as you switch between these items called scenes over here 
that's what you're gonna you're seeing all that will come up next if I press the enter button or press the transition button here okay so for instance like so um, let's speak of scenes the scenes are right down here these would be pretty similar analogous to camera inputs or ca uh, video sources on a regular switcher uh, but the actual sources you can build into I think camera what is it display has multiple uh, inputs in it okay and you can build lots of layers and there's even a way to do chroma key using these uh, items too so it's pretty cool um, these are your main control buttons over here obviously I'm recording right now settings start streaming uh, that's how we would make this talk to like YouTube or Twitch or something like that down here is the status bar it's telling us our CPU usage and it's for this uh, setup it's been hovering between 15% and 25% and then our total runtime on our program now uh, this is by no means a complete this is not a complete tour of how OBS works uh, guys have you know multi-part tutorials on how to run OBS and one of the things that's tricky about those is they you know this is version 15 0.15.1 running out here and so they they're updating and adding functionality to this thing all the time but uh, that is how uh, this system works it's pretty cost effective if you're interested in learning more about that rosamediaproductions.com slash studios I'll put my website up here real quick rosamediaproductions.com slash studios is kind of my landing page for all things studio related with my uh, business and pardon me the uh, if you want to connect with me otherwise of course I'd really appreciate a like on the video subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, you can also follow me on Twitter LinkedIn we can you know connect there and Facebook you can make friends on Facebook I always appreciate that kind of connection uh, truthfully though if you really want to connect with me the best way is via contact form on my website got all my contact information there as well as a contact form drop an email to me and we'll get started with our conversation uh, so uh, with that let me just say that uh, thanks for watching today whoops thanks for watching today and hopefully you've gotten a question or two answered if you've got more you know write them in the comments or contact me via my website love to connect around uh, setting up studios for your uh, school video uh, your elementary or middle school if you want to build a channel they're also interested in working with bootstrapping entrepreneur types uh, me being one of those myself so uh, that's all I've got to say about that. I'm going to go ahead and cut to my outro. You guys have a great day.